Hi everyone, this is Pamela and today I would like to point out what a trauma bonding is. And it is the emotional attachment that you develop towards the abuser. And the people who tend to gravitate toward this type of relationship have experienced abuse before. And this is very familiar for them, so that's why it is so difficult to leave this type of relationship. And they confuse this attachment to love. So how do you identify that you are in a trauma bonding uh, type of relationship instead of a love relationship? So the first one might be really confusing and it is the fact that it starts like being the perfect relationship. You have to understand that the abuser, it is a manipulator and the manipulators are good people readers. That's why they get away with what they want. So once they realize that you are emotionally invested towards them and to, towards the relationship, they start the devaluing stage. That's how you feel like you've been scammed because the person that you saw before doesn't exist anymore. And then maybe you get attached to this idea that perhaps they are having a really bad day and maybe tomorrow it's going to be better. And that's why you keep staying in there. The second trait is that they are emotionally mm, unpredictable. That's the word. You never know what to expect with this type of people. One day they love you, the other day they hate you, the other day they neglect you, and then the cycle start. And that will keep you investing in the relationship because you're looking to have this kind of consistency that you will never have with them. So that's why many people after uh, having uh, this toxic relationship, when they encounter somebody who's healthy and they haven't healed, they will find the healthy person to be bored because they are used to, to this type of unpredictable behavior, which is, not, uh, which is a red flag to identify and to pay attention for you to make the decision of leaving right away. So the third trait is that you diminish the abuse. You diminish it by having this narrative where you start in conflict with what you know that it's good and you know what's bad but you start just defying their actions so that is what it's called the cognitive dissonance where the victims basically um, know that what they're doing by allowing this type of behavior it's bad however they try to be or remain there in the relationship because they feel that that's a way for them to fight for their love. And that's not actually fighting for love. You need to know what is it that you are uh, living and see it as they are and stop justifying the things or living into a fantasy that it's going to hurt you in the long run. So that's why they develop this type of, um, of conflict inside of them because they diminish the things that are actually happen. Which leads me to the last trait that I would like to point out today that it's when you know that you left uh, a situation. Let's say, for example, your other half uh, push you. Or maybe they slap you on your face, just to say an example. And then you hide these type of things from your family members or maybe from your friends because they know that you know that this will cause a bigger issue that will make you uh, be away from this person but you don't want to do it so as you start hiding uh, you find yourself hiding things that actually happen that you know that are very dangerous for you it's when you have to realize that this is not a rough relationship but trauma bonding so if you feel that you're going through this Try to please run away from this. I know it is really hard, especially if you have this emotional attachment. But this emotional attachment is just a response from the abuse. But this is not love. You're going to be fine. You're going to survive from it as long as you get away from this type of relationship. And if you are able to find help, please do so. If you feel somebody that you care about is going through that, try to show them that you're not going to be judgmental that you are going to be respectful, but especially that you're going to be supportive. If you found the video really useful, I would like you to subscribe into my channel to give me a thumb up and especially to share it to anybody that you think that is actually needed. So in the meantime, see you the next time. Bye bye.